Hey, welcome to today's tech tip all about power steering systems. Now we're familiar with the steering wheel and the column, and that's going to drive typically a rack and pinion. So it's going to take a rack of gears, a pinion, and drive both wheels left or right, depending on your input. Well, that's for manual, but you've got power steering, and what that means is you've got an additional system, you know, a pump and a reservoir with hydraulic fluid, and inside this pump, building pressure is its own set of valves controlling that pressure to the rack. Well, on the rack side, internally, you've got some controls, some valves, some little orifices that actually control the amount of effort going into those wheels. So you don't put in a little bit of effort to change lanes and have your car fly to the left, but when you need that extra effort, it's being controlled in the rack. Well, there's a lot of things that can go wrong in your system, from worn out parts, leaky seals, but you can imagine all these pumps working in conjunction with these small valves, the fluid is very critical and needs to be watched, maintained, and even changed. Typical service intervals are around 50,000 miles. You want to flush the fluid, especially if you change a component, flush that fluid. You can even add or change the filter in that system to keep everything running properly. Now, another good tip is you don't have to buy expensive parts from the dealer. You can get high quality remanufactured parts like these from Atsco. Now they're going to go through all the seals, all the wear surfaces, all the valves, and replace everything to OE specs. They're going to pressure test it, and it's all done right here in the USA. So next time you need any of your power steering system replaced, check out ATSCO at Federated Auto Parts.